It is the oldest and most popular technology used in the MIMS fabrication. In this, mechanical structures are created within the boundaries of single crystal silicon wafer by selectively removing parts of a wafer material by using orientation dependent etching. Based on the phase of etchant, bulk micro machining fabrication can be divided into wet etching and dry etching. In wet etching, the material is removed by immersing a silicon wafer in liquid etchants that relying on aqueous chemicals. The etching, removing of wafer material, can be either anisotropic, isotropic, or a combination of both. In isotropic etching, silicon wafer is removed in all the directions independently according to the crystallographic orientation of the substrate. In this, accuracy of structure definition is not very good but depends on the factors like temperature, etchant concentration and time. HNA is the most common form of silicon etches which comprises of the combination of nitric acid, hydrofluoric acid and acetic acid. These types of etchants are limited by the geometric structure to be etched. Etch rate can slow down and in case of deep and narrow channels, this rate can stop due to diffusion limiting factors. However, this can be minimized by agitation of the etchant, resulting in structures with near perfect and rounded surfaces as shown in below figure. In anisotropic etching, etch rate depends on the crystallographic orientation of the wafer. The most common anisotropic etchant is potassium hydroxide, which is relatively safe to use. This anisotropic etches are progressing rapidly in the crystal direction perpendicular to the 110 plane and less rapidly in the direction perpendicular to the 100 plane. The above figures C and D show the examples of anisotropic etching. Dry etching relies on plasma and vapor-based methods of etching using suitably reactive vapors or gases usually at high temperatures. Reactive iron etching, RIE, is the most common for MIMS that utilizes the additional energy in the form of RF, radio frequency, power to drive the chemical reaction. The etching can occur at much lower frequencies, typically in the range 150 to 250 degrees centigrade, because energetic ions are accelerated towards the material to be etched within the plasma phase supplying the additional energy needed for the reaction. The deep trenches and pits or arbitrary shapes with vertical walls can be etched due to the reason that the RIE is not limited by the crystal planes in the silicon. Deep reactive iron etching, the RIE, is a much higher aspect ratio method that involves an alternative process of high density of plasma etching and protective polymer deposition to achieve greater aspect ratios as shown in figure. Etch stopping methods are developed to stop the etching process at a precise location. One of such methods is electrochemical in nature and is based on the fact that etching stops upon encountering a region of different polarity in a biased p-n junction. Another technique is based on the fact that heavily doped regions etch is more slowly than undoped regions and hence etch process can be made selectively by doping a portion of the material. <laughs>